In this video I'm going to show you how to set up and configure uh, Citrix WEM transformer feature. Uh, what this will do is it will allow us to convert our old physical uh, desktop PCs into thin clients. Um, so if you've got any um, legacy hardware um, which is old um, and is ready to be thrown in the bin, uh, you can repurpose that hardware by converting it into a thin client. Um, and you can use uh, Citrix Web Transformer to do that. So I'm going to show you how to configure it. Um, so this is my Windows 10 client. So this could be legacy hardware. This could be running like a Core 2 Duo, uh, 1 gig of RAM, 2 gig of RAM, Windows 7, etc. Um, in this example, it's a it's a Windows 10 virtual machine because obviously I haven't got a physical spare physical PC. Um, to do this on. So we'll just be using this uh, virtual machine in this example. Um, so the first thing we basically uh, want to do is we're going to install the WEM agent uh, on our physical PC. Um, so if I show you a couple of prereqs what I've done uh, beforehand, um, I've created a new OU um, for my thin clients uh, and this PC that I'm working on, desktop O1 is in that thin client so you um, will be adding that OU to WEM um, and we'll also be installing the WEM agent. Uh, I've created um, uh, an account. Um, this account will be used to automatically log on to the thin client. Um, I'll show you that when we get to that. Um, that's the only really prereqs. Um, my WEM server here um, is, is WEM, WEM1. Uh, and I'll show you the configuration of transformer in WEM uh, once we get going. So the first thing we need to do is on our physical desktop PCs that we want to convert to a thin client, uh, we're going to install the WEM agent. So I'm just going to go through this now. Okay, welcome to the WEM agent setup wizard. Next on that, next on that. Uh, we'll be using an on-premise deployment of WEM. We're not using the WEM service. Um, what we'll do, we'll skip the configuration because I've got a GPO um, that sets the WEM broker. Um, so I'll show you that and we'll link that GPO to this OU uh, once we get to that stage. So for now, we'll just skip the uh, configuration here of adding the WEM broker. Click next on that. Um, specify a cache location if you've got non persistent machines and you've got write cache drives it's always a good idea to move your uh, WEM cache to that persistent drive uh, but in this example it's just a physical PC so it's not required we'll click on install Okay, click finish to exit the wizard and that is the agent now done. So we now need to go into WEM and we're going to uh, basically configure uh, a new configuration set within WEM um, specifically for uh, the thin clients. So I'm going to create a new configuration set. Um, so we'll give it a name. We'll just call it thin clients. Click on OK. Okay, we'll switch to that uh, configuration set. Um, what I like to do is I just like to restore uh, the settings. So we go browse and then in our WEM folder, we've got uh, configuration templates and then default recommended settings. We'll tick all of those and then click restore, click yes on that. And then click on finish. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to add the OU um, where our thin clients is going to be. Um, so if we go down to Active Directory Objects and then Machines, uh, we're going to add the OU. So I'm going to add that new OU where I've put my thin clients. So that one there. Okay, so that's done. Um, what we now need to do is we need to link the GPO that sets the WEM infrastructure services server. Um, so the WEM agent will use that WEM infrastructure services server to connect to WEM. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, go into the GPMC and then on the OU I'm just going to link an existing uh, GPO. Um, I've got one here for Citrix WEM. I'm going to link that and then if we have a look at that you can see Citrix Components, Workspace Environmental Management, Agent Host Configuration, the infrastructure server is pointing to pvs1.carmo.com uh, which is actually the host name uh, of my uh, WEM server. So we'll give that um, a GP update slash force um, just and we'll run the uh, WEM agent cache utility just to refresh the cache just to give it a give it a kick. So if we do GP update slash force Okay, we do GP result slash capital R. Let's just see if that GPO has been applied. Yeah, it looks like it's been applied, so that's good. Uh, Citrix WEM, uh, computer settings, so that's cool. So that looks like it's in place. We'll just check in the registry just to confirm. If we check HQ local machine software policies, NORC scale, agent host, broker service name, we can see it's pointing at pvs1.chimo.com, uh, which is my WEM broker slash WEM uh, infrastructure services server. So the GPO is applying and working, um, which is good. Uh, there is one other thing I like to do, uh, which is refresh the WEM agent cache. Um, so let's do that now. So if we go to the root of C, and CD program files x86, CD Citrix, and then CD workspace environment management agent, and then there's an agent uh, cache utility, and then if we do dash refresh cache, uh, that will force a refresh of the agent cache. Okay, so that's done. So if we now go onto our web server. If we have a look under administration and then agents and then do a refresh, we should see um, our agent here, uh, desktop 01. Uh, it's recently connected a few minutes ago. Uh, it's showing a synchronized, uh, recently connected, so that's good. Uh, if we go into registrations, uh, we can see it's been bound to the thin client's uh, configuration set, uh, which is the configuration set where we added uh, the OU. So you can see here we've got the thin client so you added. Um, so this agent has been added uh, correctly to this configuration set. So we're in a good place. So we're now ready to enable transformer. Um, so first of all I'm going to click on enable transformer. I'm going to enter my uh, receiver for web storefront URL. So it's https colon slash slash storefront dot carmo dot com slash citrix slash carmo web. Okay, there we go. So that's added. Uh, custom title, this will be the title on our kiosk page. So I'm just going to call it carmo uh, kiosk. Uh, I'm going to show the navigation buttons. Pretty handy if you've got websites so you can go back and forward. I'm going to show the application panel uh, so you can add things like notepad, calculator, um, MSTSC for remote desktop. So it's pretty handy. Display clock, we'll add that. Uh, the unlock password is for administrators. So they can do control alt and then U and then enter this unlock password um, to get to the uh, underlying uh, operating system. So I'm going to add that. We'll click on apply. Okay, if we now go to site settings, I'm going to enable the site list and then I'm going to add a URL. Uh, this could be anything. This could be your intranet portal, your HR portal, your holiday portal. Um, in this example, I'm just going to do a Citrix website. So HTTPS uh, Citrix.com. Under tool settings, I'm going to enable tools list, click on add. 
this can be notepad, calculator, uh, MSTSC, etc. Um, in this example, I'm just going to do notepad. We'll browse to C Windows and then System 32. Let's uh, go notepad. There we go. Notepad.exe. So we've got that. We'll click on apply and that's the website and the uh, application added so we're pretty much done now um, there's a couple of last settings in the advanced uh, transformer settings that we have to set so I like to tick this hide kiosk while uh, Citrix sessions running um, I hide the taskbar and the start button and then I also suppress uh, script errors as well if you've got web pages um, so it's pretty handy uh, log on and log off settings. I enable auto log on mode. Uh, I've got a domain account called uh, Thin Client Zero One. I'm going to enter the password. Uh, the domain is carmo.com. So what that will do is basically, when the Thin Client reboots, it will automatically sign on with this domain account. Um, and then the user will be presented uh, with the kiosk mode and the storefront page will be uh, brought up and the user will have to enter their username and password to log in. So we've done that. Um, end of session option. So when the user ends their Citrix session, what do we want to do? Um, I like to restart a thin client. So it's a fresh uh, reboot. Uh, user logs off, thin client reboots, automatically logs in with a thin client account. Um, and then it's back at storefront. It could be end of day or ready for the next user. Uh, you can set some power management options here. Uh, so you could shut down all the thin clients at 2 a.m. Uh, to save some power uh, and electricity. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this example, uh, but that's an option. So I'm going to click on apply. And now if we jump on over to uh, our WEM client, um, W10 client. So this is the one that's got the WEM agent. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a refresh. Uh, so let's see who we're logged in at the moment with. Uh, so we're logged in as administrator. Uh, so let's change over to our thin client user. Okay. There we go. So we're now logged in as our thin client uh, domain account. So I'm just going to do a refresh settings on the WEM agent settings. And straight away now you can see the transformer settings are being applied. Um, it's gone into a kiosk mode. We've got our title there, Carmo Kiosk. We've got our websites added here. Uh, so you can see Citrix.com. Uh, so if we click on that. It will take us to Citrix.com. We can use the back and forward arrows. Um, if we click on tools, we've got notepad, which is pretty handy. Um, we've got our clock, we've got some power options, log off, restart, shut down. So what I'm going to basically do now is I'm going to log in uh, and show you the experience. So I'm going to log in as uh, John C. Test. So we've been successfully authenticated. Um, storefronts passed us through to our delivery controllers. Delivery controllers has communicated with our Citrix uh, site database and it's um, looked at the apps that we've been assigned, passed that back through to Storefront, which has then generated our apps here in Storefront. So if I click on the 2016 desktop, it's going to launch that. And there we go. You can see now. It's logged me into my 2016 desktop. So this here is my 2016 Citrix desktop um, with all my uh, Citrix apps. So Office 2016, um, my corporate browsers. So once we log off, uh, what should happen is the thin client should automatically reboot. So let's just test this. Okay, that's basically because I'm logged in. I was logged in as the administrator as well. So let's just test it. Okay, that's restarting. Uh, 
And if everything works correctly, it should automatically sign us in as the thin client 01 user. Um, and we should be brought straight away to the kiosk mode and the storefront page should be displayed. So let's just wait for this to reboot and we'll test it. There you go. You can see it's automatically signing in with the thin client 01 account. No interaction. The users doesn't need to know uh, that username and password. So once the WEM uh, configuration applies through the WEM agent, uh, it should switch us to kiosk mode. Let's just wait for that to apply. Yeah, I'm not sure why that didn't apply. Let's just reboot that just to uh, just test that again. Logging in as thin client I want. And there we go. That's how it should work. Yeah, I'm not sure what what happened there. The first reboot, it just maybe like a caching issue or didn't apply correctly. Um, but yeah, you can see as soon as the machine reboots, uh, we get the kiosk mode. It takes us straight to our storefront URL, and then we can. Uh, log in and uh, launch our apps. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Cheers. Bye